I, I have a cat friend that's hanging out. Hello, kitty. Wonderful. These actually have fragrance, so the last two times that I bought them, they didn't have any smell, and I'm like, why, why am I buying lilies if they are not going to smell wonderful inside? It's silly, foolish shenanigans. That's what's happening to plants, you know? It's like you get plants that are picked too early and they have no flavor, you get flowers that have no smell. What kind of brave new world are we living in right now? I don't need you to answer this. I can see it and smell it and look at everything for myself. But how do we make it better? I have to start somewhere, I suppose. Oh, I should show you all the wonderful bounty of the plants. Oh, I'm plugging my computer before it dies. Okay. This is a lot of plants from yesterday, plus there are seeds. Okay, sunflower seeds. The birds, the birds got to some of them before I got to them, but these actually look better than the ones that I planted, oddly enough, like they're darker and plumper. It's good stuff. I'm very excited. I already took some of the zinnia seeds out, but these are just like the tops of the flowers. Let's see if I can find one in here. There were some green ones from these petals, so I just like added them. Oh, here you go. Oh, I forgot. I left my lemon basil seeds outside. So those have flavored. Seeds for a little. See little seeds are all fogos appropriately. They're like little shield daggery shaped seeds. They're awesome. I guess I'll have to sort through that further. This is all just from yesterday too. They were like bigger tomatoes. It will ripen all the way, okay? It will. Lots of cayenne peppers. Which, like that one's actually pretty giant. Jalapeno. Thai peppers. Serrano peppers. So hot sauce is definitely in the future. Habanero peppers. This just looks like spicy death, honestly. Bell peppery goodness more habaneros that like are not raping but obviously we're starting to get eaten a little bit there little bastards pretty sure they'll still be spicy though more you know bigger bell pepper it's off the two-year bell pepper plant giant cucumbers and then like a whole giant thing of cherry tomatoes and grape tomatoes I should eat them like this because there are too many of them. The neighbors are about to get some tomatoes and beef. My <laughs> lord, lord. Honestly, I like the grape ones better than cherries. Like, I don't know, I think they have a better flavor. And they all kind of taste tomato y. Some bigger ones. But yeah, this is a lot of tomatoes. And there's some still on the vine, like way at the bottom there. There's a lot of stuff to pick. Like, really, really. Well, or, like, gotta do something about this. Can't just leave them there. Because once they're this red, 
You know, they'll fall off in like a day. Or the ants will start to eat them. Oh, and I ate one grape. They're starting to turn red. Not fully ripe yet. And it's still good. With a little bit of sweetness, you know? You know let me see if I can entertain. Ta-ra! Alright. That is all. Well. <laughs>